Molly, what's up? You could... Facebook page, Taylor May. Just type it in. T-A-Y-L-A-M-A-E. Check it out. She's got a great voice. Thanks. Thanks, mate. We are really warming in the heavy weather. We're playing at the Steiner School in Canterbury this evening. I think it opens at seven. There's a few other people playing as well. Really nice. So it's like the plastic ones. It's £25 pound note. It's so easy. It's slightly smaller. It's made of polymer or something like that. More plastic in the oceans. They're not throwing those in the ocean. They should all be made of well, recycled enjoy. plastic, right? That ocean would be plastic. Cool. That would be cool. We're gonna be so down the wind. We're gonna. We're going to the gig, we're packing up, we're going. Ooh. We're gonna go get a quick coffee fix. Tone Rider and Tone Rider pickups. What's up? He makes pickups. Mm, you get the easy ones, hey, you know, you'll put it on the bottom of your pickup. Yep. Maybe another one on the other side of the bottom of your pickup, and then you just screw it down and up, and it'll squidge and it'll push it up. Oh. You know, okay. Additional okay. juice. Lovely. We've got to run, man. We've got to go. Back door. Okay. Take care. Oh, Much love, Andy. See you later. Cheers, man. 
That was Andy Tone Rider. He makes the beautiful pickups that we use in our Japanese Fender Telecaster. Big humbucker, Tone Rider Rebel 90. And then we've got one in the bridge as well. Going to the Steiner School to do our gig, fundraising for Huglitz, Wood Farm Animal Sanctuary. Yeah. Wenda's gonna be there. We're stuck behind another tractor. Is Wenda here? She's not here yet, she's coming about half past six. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And this is the lovely Becky, and she Hi. sorted it all out. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Fundraiser for Huglets at the Steiner School. Yeah, yeah, for Huglets, it's going to be really good. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. The sun is shining. Yeah. Should we get our stuff out here then? Yeah? Yeah, you could get it in here. And some singing. Let's go see what's going on. So what time are you guys playing? We were first, I think. Oh my god. I didn't even know Hannah was coming, but then yeah, she's got a good voice. Just up. That's terrifying. You guys are last, aren't what you? Cool You're room. the pierre de resistance. We're the headline act because we're the yeah. best. <laughs> You've got Sound check done. We're getting told it's too loud. So we're gonna try and be quiet. Are you gonna try and play quietly tonight, Rudy? <sighs> we can join your band. <laughs> yeah. we, we say that, but we actually we can't because yeah, we don't know it. Pretty useless musicians. We are useless. What do you think of the sound check? I love sound check. We got told, it, we got told it was a bit loud. I think it's because no one's in here. Yes. He's not there. Is he in Brindavan? He's, I don't know where he is. <laughs> it's Wenda! <laughs> it's Matthew! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Last, as you mongue, guy that I Wenda, tell us about Calcutta. Oh, Calcutta. At Eid. Two and a half million cows normally are shipped in from all over. And um, there are probably 20 or 30 groups, each of 40, 50 men who work with the government Goshalas to take the cows away from the, the masjid, from the mosques. And this year, 250,000 cows were left who were slaughtered wow. in the seven hour period from 5 a.m. to 12. The streets were awash with blood. Um, people thought it was water, but it wasn't. It was actual cow's blood, ankle deep in cow's blood. That is mental. That's crazy. Cows are picked up at night by butchers in trucks they either have chilies put in their eyes, their arms are tied behind their backs so they can't move. They're held by their throats on, on rope and, and they're driven hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles. The um, places are, are policed by genuine policemen mm. on the border and, and what people were doing was going between the sentry points and lifting the cows over by their necks on wow. a crane Mm. but also cutting their legs on the razor wire as they passed over. It's being said now that money is exchanging hands between some of the so-called uh, gorakshaks, the cow protectors, okay. and the butchers. And there are accusations being bandied around. We haven't discovered whether or not it's, it's fact or fiction. It could just be people wanting to discredit people who are protecting cows, mm. but one man has been arrested for actually giving bribes or accepting bribes from butchers to allow mm. some of the cows to pass through to, to be slaughtered. 
Each truck would use on average. Some were 20, some were 60, some, it depends on the size of the truck because they treat them as cargo, they cover the top of the truck with, with like a tarpaulin yeah. and rope so it looks as if it's sacks of stuff in there mm. but underneath it's cows piled up. There's something now called the Land Mafia which is very active in Punjab and the week before I got there Land Mafia had gone into one of Babaji, the guy who I was working for, his Goshalas and, and they had gone into to one of Babaji's Goshalas and they had beaten senseless the people looking after the cows, the, the Gosevacs there. One is completely brain damaged now. Whoa. He will never be normal again. And do they know who did that, sorry? Yeah, it's the Land Mafia, what the they call mafia. the Land Mafia. And they took 190 cows to the slaughterhouse that night. So many people say that they are security, mm -hmm. but they're there working with the butchers. So they'll take a backhander to open the gate or fall asleep when they should, shouldn't. Mm. The karmic reaction for killing cows, they say in the Vedas, is as many incarnations as there are hairs on the body of cow. So that's a life of hell. Then if we kill the cows, we kill the earth. We're killing ourselves. Yeah, we're destroying life. But what, what sort of animals do you have on your sanctuary? We've got cows, we've got calves, we've got uh, sheep, we've got lambs, we've got turkeys, we've got geese, we've got ducks, we've got some Indian runners, which are ducks. We've got um, chickens. We've got a new lion that arrived the day before yesterday. He's called Twizzle. Um, and we've got any, any number of wildlife. We've got wonderful wildlife that we, we maintain an environment for. So Beautiful. they're safe and protected. Thank you. The next open day? Uh, next year, May. May. <laughs> May 2017. Need to be there. <laughs> Need to be there. Okay. It's lovely. vegan treats, we have peaceful food for peaceful people and peaceful animals and um, okay. yeah, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, very briefly, I want to just thank you for um, any, any help you might give us tonight. We, we tend to run our sanctuary on our own. We've been doing it 21 years. We take farm animals and, more recently, any animal that's in need, whose life is going to be threatened or cut short, either because they belong in the food chain or because they are um, mentally or physically challenged. But when they come to Huggett's Wood, then that trauma is over and slowly they start to rebuild their lives. We try very hard to facilitate that. And because we live very, very simply, we live without electricity. We have wind and, and solar panels to provide our power. We have composting toilets. The nicest kind, I hasten to add, gone over long drops apart from guests. <laughs> And we recycle grey water, so we sort of try desperately to walk the talk because we know what it's like to listen to people who tell you how you should be living, but they don't live that way themselves. Many of you have heard of the term Ahimsa, and many of you know that it's bandied around by us in the West without fully understanding the meaning of it. Ahimsa means complete harmlessness. It means not just caring for one sector of society, but all of society, of living without causing any suffering, any fear, or any pain. And what we want to do is to 
encourage people to, to just look at the changes that they can make in life. Um, what, what our intention is, is to share with the people who come to us just how easy it is to make changes in your life, whether it's through diet, whether it's through lifestyle, whether it's through changing what you wear, whether it's from just changing the way you live. And, and so far in the 21 years where we've had visitors, quite a few people have come to us living one way and having spent a day with the animals, have gone home, thought about it, and then changed their lives. And as I said before, it's not us who do that, it's the animals. But thank you once again for doing it with me. Thank you. Music by music by music by. <laughs>